Hi guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to day 7 of the pre preseason training program. Now today is recovery day. A lot of people have misconceptions of what they believe recovery is. Some people think recovery means just taking the day off, relaxing, and in essence it's relaxing in comparison to the week of training that you had, but it's very important to be active in your recovery. So you're not just vegging out and sitting watching Netflix, eating a load of junk food and things like that you're actually doing things that are taking steps to improve your performance still. So I don't want you to view recovery day as taking a day off, but instead I want you to actually view recovery day as a part of your training program and a very important part, just as important as any of the training days that you have. So I'm gonna do three things today. First thing is I'm going for a very light jog, one to two miles, nothing more than that and at a very slow pace. Nine minute mile pace is fine. You're really just doing a low impact run just getting some blood working through that body without straining those muscles, just to flush out all that lactic acid. Lactic acid is what's making you feeling really sore right now, so you wanna flush that out. And the next stage of the recovery is lengthening those muscles. So I've already got it set up for when I get back, but I'm gonna be doing a full body stretch. It's not just like your general daily stretching that you should be doing at the end of every day, but this time you're really taking some time to focus on every muscle group and holding the stretch for a lot longer. These stretching sessions are gonna be about half an hour long. I know it's boring, but it's gotta be done if you really wanna get the best out of your body. And then we're gonna finally end with some foam rolling. So we'll foam roll all the major muscle groups, just getting all that lactic acid out, flushing it out, and giving those muscles a massage so that they're feeling really good starting for week two of training. And any particularly tight areas that we have, I've also got the tennis ball out so we can really dig deep into that muscle tissue and work out those knots so that it's not feeling sore next week. So that's the plan. We're gonna go out for a run now. So let's get into it. All right guys, so we just got done with the two miles, completed it in 17 minutes 51, so just below a nine minute mile pace, which isn't bad. Obviously I'm sweating, but as you can hear from my voice, I've just stopped running and I'm not even out of breath, so that's what it should be like. I'm sweating because it's hot out and it's still exercise, but you shouldn't be out of breath. It's not a strenuous run. Like I said, just flushing out that lactic acid. So as we can see here, average pace 8.54 per mile. Total duration for two miles, 17 minutes and 51 seconds. So yeah, that's just a nice little recovery run. I'm just gonna walk the rest of the way and then I'm gonna go do a full body stretch. All right, so I'm just back in my apartment about to get into the full body stretch. Now, if you're doing this properly, this should take you about 30 minutes to complete the entire full body stretch. It's quite a long time, as I said, but it's really gonna help your body and you're really gonna feel the benefits from it. You're gonna see increases in your performance, in your athletic ability, and it's just gonna make you feel so much better. So I'm gonna get into it. I won't show you the full 30 minutes. I'll just show you each stretch. I'm gonna hold them for 30 seconds each and it should take about half an hour, as I said. So I'm doing it with a yoga mat because I've got a hardwood floor here in my apartment. If you have a carpet, I'd recommend doing it on a carpet or out on a grass patch or something like that because some of these poses, you're on your knees, it can be quite uncomfortable. So you wanna protect those joints. So using a yoga mat's always good. They're not too expensive, but that's just my recommendation, but anyway. I'm gonna get into the stretch routine and you guys can follow along.
So that's the full body stretch completed and immediately after I feel so much better already let alone how I'm gonna to feel tomorrow tomorrow I'm gonna to feel amazing and I promise you guys if you give this one a go give a good 30 minutes to your stretching routine at least once a week you're gonna feel so much better and you're gonna be able to perform so much better because your muscles will just be that more elastic they're kind of like rubber bands so you want them to be springy elastic and that's gonna make you more powerful more explosive now I'm gonna move on into some foam rolling and as I said if I do find any sore spots I'm really going to dig in there with the tennis ball as well. So this isn't as comfortable, but it's definitely a great way to relieve the tension in the muscles. So all that soreness will hopefully be gone tomorrow if I spend a good amount of time just really working through each muscle group, rolling them out, giving them a good massage, getting all that lactic acid out and releasing the tension. So let's get into it. Alright guys, so just got done. As you can see there, just going through all the major muscle groups in the legs, really putting a focus on the hamstrings and the glutes, because that's what's really taking the beating, especially with the program that I've put together. It's a lot of explosive movements, a lot of speed work. So as you might have been able to tell, as I'm doing these movements, I'm not just rolling in a straight line, I'm actually kind of rotating my legs, because I'm really trying to hit all of those fibers. You have so many different fibers in your legs, so they go all around the side here. They're not just at the back and at the front, they're all around the side, so you really want to angle your leg as you're rolling them. But that's pretty much it for my recovery process. So it's just a light jog and then a full body stretch and some foam rolling and a little bit of tennis ball work as well. So as you can see, it's not just taking a day off, even though it's not very strenuous, it's really paying attention and using it just like a training day. So you actually really have to consciously make an effort to aid your recovery. That's just gonna make you a better player, it's gonna make you recover faster, so that next week you can train even harder again. So first week of the training program is done. We've got three weeks left until we repeat fitness tests, so hopefully you're enjoying it so far, hopefully you're feeling the benefits of it. So we're getting back at it tomorrow, it's gonna to be a very intense session again, a lot of speed dribbling work tomorrow, so I'm looking forward to that one. So if you're enjoying the series so far, make sure you smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for daily training videos, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Together